When it comes to makeup trends, they can change as quickly as the seasons. Even though it might not look like spring outside in Kelloland, it's already time to learn all about this spring's makeup trends. Jody Hunter is the owner of Bombshell Beauty and has brought along Sydney Siegel to help model some spring looks. You look beautiful today, both of you. Thank you. I love your makeup. First things first. I am guilty of this where I get in this routine and I've been doing the same makeup to my eyes, the same lip color all year round. Why is it important to, you know, switch it up with the seasons and add a little pop of color? Well, I think the changing of the season is a good time because you can, you know, change with the colors of the season. For example, spring is a perfect time to incorporate a coral. I'm a big fan of a coral lip. Um, and. You know, changing of the seasons, winter time, it's, it's more good to do like dark tones and then the coral for the spring. And then highlighted skin for the spring is awesome. So that, yeah, spring's a great time to transition. And now I'm standing in front of this mirror. It looks yes. awesome. What does it do? What, how does it help you apply your makeup? So lighting is everything when it comes to your makeup routine. Um, a lot of women tell me, you know, I did my makeup and then I went outside and I looked in my mirror in my car and it, it was horrible. And so lighting is key when doing your makeup. So we actually build these custom built vanity mirrors and they're amazing for your home or your studio if you're a working professional. But yeah, they're awesome. And they give you more than enough light to do your makeup. And so. different settings. So if it's different daytime settings. out and you have some natural sunlight coming in, like do you do yep. different settings for that? They, we have dimmable versions. This one's not, but sometimes what I do if it's really early in the morning and you don't want to be blinded, I'll unscrew <laughs> half of the light bulb so it's not as much lighting. But um, yeah, they're great. They're great for applying your makeup. If you're a glam girl or yeah. just a regular girl too, you know, during makeup. So. And adds a little decor to your room too. I exactly. Mean. Yeah, we can do them in any yeah. finish and, and color. So hot pink is awesome. How long would you say on, say you're just doing a normal face of makeup, how long sure. do you think it would take you to do your makeup? It really depends. Like me personally, I like to um, take my time if I have enough time to do my makeup, but I'd say probably like a half hour, 45 minutes. If you're doing something super in depth, like Sydney's makeup today probably took about 40 minutes, but we were kind of chatting in between. So it really depends on what look you're going for. <clears throat> All right. First things first, yeah. because I am really curious about this. Let's yes. talk about the highlighting and contouring. That is sure. such a big thing. Sure. Um, so highlighting and contouring, what it, what it does is it just makes your face look more shapely. Um, it contours you in all the right areas and makes you look more slim. And it just gives the face shape and um, bronze, so you got a little bit of a tan. Sydney has great tan already, but it's nice to kind of contour the face. And what we did um, on her is we just used a little bit of a bronzing powder. It's a matte powder to contour and a big fluffy brush. And you just want to kind of put it in the areas where the sun naturally hits your face. So if you think about where you would naturally get a suntan in the summertime, that's kind of where you want to put it on the forehead, on the tops of the cheeks, top of the nose, under the jawline. But contouring, you want to kind of um, put it in the hollows. So I always like to put a little under my jawline to mm -hmm. sculpt out, kind of get rid of your double chin. She doesn't have that problem. <laughs> but um, up under the forehead can make the forehead appear smaller. And then in the contour of the cheek, really sucks it in and makes your face look nice and chiseled. So, and you can do that with any bronzing powder. Matte finish, you don't want to do it with a shimmer powder just because you know, you want to keep it matte to create the shadow. So, and then highlighting. Um, highlighting is amazing because it gives you a youthful appearance to your, um, to your skin. So, I forgot my highlight palette today, but we're going to, you can improvise and you can <laughs> use an eyeshadow palette. So, we're going to use this light shimmery shade um, in this eyeshadow palette. And you just want to apply it to the tops of the cheekbones and it gives you just a nice glow. Should we put a little on you too? Yeah, since do you don't, I have, don't any? have any, so we can see the difference. So we're gonna put a little bit of the same shade and tap okay. it off, and you just wanna put it on the high points of the face. So on the tops of the cheekbones, you can put a little bit down the bridge of the nose. Um, I always put a little on the cupid's bow just to kinda enhance the top lip. You already have your lipstick on, so I don't wanna mess it up, but the tops of the cheekbones is everything. I love it. Looks so good. So. I love it. So when you're doing contouring, glow. you can do like what you just did with yes. um, the powder, but there is also the option of doing liquid. And how do you yes. decide 
you know, what blends better? What do you like better personally? Um, if I am going to an event, like say I want to really glam myself up, I'll do a cream contour, set it with a set everything with a translucent powder, and then I'll go on top of it with the matte bronzer technique. So I'll do both just to kind of really intensify it. Um, if you're wondering, you know, should I use cream or should I use powder? It's really a personal preference. If you're comfortable using a cream, go for a cream. But a powder is kind of like, in my eyes, more for a beginner because it's easier. You can't really mess up a powder, you know, mm -hmm. you, it's, it's more blendable versus a cream. You're going to have to apply the cream, blend it out. It's a little more tricky. There's a learning curve with it. So start with a powder if you're a beginner. All right, let's get yes. to the eyes now. Spring, yeah. what should you switch it up with? So one of my favorite palettes is the same palette we just used to highlight, but using doing a very simple eye in the springtime is the best look you can do because you want to keep it simple you don't want to go crazy um, we just did a little bit of a, a contour shade like a bronzer shade and then we put a little shimmer on the lid and just a light brown eyeliner and put a ton of lashes on her and just keeping the eyes simple and letting the pop of color on the lip um, shine I feel like that's the the best look for spring. So. Are there any trends with eyeliner? I mean, you have black, brown, some people use blue. Sure. How do you know what your color is? And with different, you know, cat eyes, that is still in? Yeah. Um, what I like to do is brown. I think that black is a little bit overkill. Uh, black can tend to just be a little too harsh. I love using a brown because it, it intensifies any eye color. The brown really like complements eye colors as far as green, blue, brown. And then um, I just, I mean, you can use a black. That's fine if that's what you're comfortable with. But try switching to a brown and see if you like it because I bet you will. It's awesome. And real quick, I want to still get to lips too, but what yes. about feather eyebrows? So the feather eyebrow technique is a huge thing right now. Everybody's getting their eyebrows microbladed and um, they're asking for the feather brow. But what you're going to want to do with the feather brow is fill in your brows. I always take the bottom of the brow and I create a line here. And then I take the top of the brow and I create a line here. Fill it in, and then when you get to the front, like fill it in like you normally would, and then when you get to the front of the brow, you want to just do like hair, hair like strokes going upwards and creating that feathered look. So you can fill this part of the brow in nice and dark to give it that shape, but then when you get to the front, just take it really easy and slow and, and nice gentle strokes to give it that feathery look. All right, we've got 30 seconds. When it comes yeah. to the lip, we're kind of getting that yes. pop of color, but is it matte yes. or glossy right now? You can go either way, but a pop of color for spring is the best way to go. So um, she's kind of got the matte coral going on, and I got the glossy coral going on today. So you could do either or. I love both. The pop of color, though, is beautiful. Yeah, so. definitely. Yeah, and if anyone wants to learn some tips on contouring, eyebrows, things like that, you do have a YouTube page that they yep. can go to for some tutorials of yes. you showing them and explaining yes. it yep. more in depth. Yep, um, I think it's just Jody Hunter if you search on YouTube, and I do all sorts of different makeup looks, Halloween tutorials, stuff like that. So. Perfect. Thank yeah. you both so much for coming in. Yes. Thank you.